we just really need everything because we want these people to be able to have a fresh start and to, you know, go in and have their house look like a home. Fresh Start started in uh, 2013. We originally started in Marlboro in 1,200 square feet of uh, free space. Then we moved to Hudson a couple years later, and now we are in our second location in Hudson, and we rent 10,000 square feet. So it's pretty impressive how much we've grown in all of those years. We provide free furniture, housewares, bedding to uh, families in need. Everybody must be qualified to come to us. You just can't walk in off the street and say, yes, I need help. We have to come through an uh, agency that we've qualified. If you go to our website, freshstartfurniturebank.org, there is a tab that says how to get help, and it lists all the social service agencies we work with by town. If you're in a town and you don't see anybody listed, Go talk to the town hall, go talk to your selectman, your mayor, who does human services in your town, and have them contact us and let us help you because we are here to help the local community. So everything in here has been donated to us. We ask it be good usable furniture, things that still have an, a good life left to it. The upholstery shouldn't be torn, it shouldn't be stained. When you sit on a couch, it should be feel firm, it should feel supportive. Maybe that you have extra dressers. Maybe you have extra mixing bowls. We have a lot of housewares. Most of our families are coming out of shelters or homelessness. Maybe they've been couch surfing, maybe they've been living in their car. In the summer, maybe they've even been living outside. Right now, anything on our take list, we need. Our heavy hitters are, we need uh, reasonable sized kitchen tables and chairs that would fit in an apartment. Most of our families are coming into small apartments, so they don't have a big kitchen area. But we do have occasion where we do need a larger kitchen table, especially for the Afghan refugees who are usually nine to 12 in a home. We need couches, love seat, upholstered chairs, recliners, end tables, nightstands, dressers, blankets, sheets, towels, bath towels, drinking glasses, just everyday drinking glasses, not a wine glass, not a bar glass, just an everyday drinking glass, plastic dishes for kids. Those are really important. We need silverware. Anything you'd use in a basic kitchen, a can opener. Truly, I can never have enough can openers. We do kitchen starter kits, which is another great community event that you could do as a drive. And it gives you the basic things you'd need to, to start your kitchen. Think of us for all your basic kitchen items, linens. Everything um, can be new or gently used. The only things that we require to be new are bed pillows and shower curtain liners. We do require to be new. We run three days a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, we have clients who have booked appointments and we shop with them online. And then they sit out in their car. They work with a personal shopper like Jennifer's doing right now. And they select what they need. We pull it and then we help load the vehicles. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, 9 to 12, we also have donors who bring in small items. So that's your kitchen items, your linens, maybe artwork, lamps, small, easy to carry furniture. We just don't have the volunteers to lift big, heavy furniture. Saturdays is the day from 8.30 to 10.30. You can bring us everything from your kitchens to your linens to your furniture. Everything is on our website of what we take. So our entire take list is there and, the, and we have a small list of items that we don't take. But those are the, the questions we get answered all the time. We can't list everything that we don't take because it would be too long. But if you ever have a question, just call us, send us an email. Somebody will get back to you within 24 hours. Great news is we started our truck back up. So we are doing pickups every other week right now for certain towns. And each uh, time the truck goes out, we show on our website which towns we're picking up from. And Marlboro is usually one of those towns we pick up from every week that our truck goes out. We are hoping to add more days. We just need help. Our goal is to get that truck back operating every week, but I need help from the community to do that. So if you can lift 50 pounds and move furniture, please come volunteer with us. If you would like to hold a furniture drive for us as a community event, please reach out to us. We need you. Our store is empty. We're having a waning list to get people in here and we can't do it without the support from the public and we love our donors. We have a great group, but right now we are being pushed to our limits. We have 100 Afghan refugees looking to come through and get services for the month of March. And that's on top of our local um, families that we're helping. 
which is 10 to 15 every week. We just do ask that everybody be vaccinated to, so that we can keep everybody safe to come volunteer with us.